DM is at it again. Oh my god, this guy just happens to be popping up like anyhow. I mean, and again, he has, you know, the last time he was arrested, right? This time around, he has received a lawsuit. I mean, guys, what's going on with this whole lawsuit thingy anyways? Like, just a few days ago, right, we talked about a, a big actress of ours filing a lawsuit against a known blogger here in Nigeria. This time around, it's pastor and activist lawsuits. Thank if you. you are strong, let's meet outside. <laughs> I'll show you. What is going on, guys? All right, guys. So welcome to another wonderful episode of the Kiwi Show. Here with your favorite girl, Jesse Rogers. How we doing? If this is your first time seeing my face, do not forget to click the like button, subscribe, and of course, do not forget to share to your friends. You have to do this because we bring you nothing but the best here on the show. So yes, I am here today with another just. And what's the biggie? What's with the lawsuit thing? Why is a pastor putting? Because it's not like um, it's not like he's suing him to court. He's putting a um, restraining order, sort of, on VDM. Why, you may ask. Well, here's how the story goes. So, remember the pastor I told you about, Pastor Fufain, the one who made um, miracle soaps and miracle water that can cleanse you of your spiritual problems, your sufferings in life? That pastor. Mm. So, VDM came out to ask questions. He's someone who speaks up for the people. He looks out for the people. You know, when people were selling fake creams that were hurting the skin of Nigerians and increasing the rate of um, skin cancer, he spoke up and was like, most of this, um, that he's, he's not trying to stop these people from doing their business and cashing out, but let, let everybody be sure, all right, that this thing is safe for their skin. So he, he called out those skincare ladies, people who are always making very organic creams in their backyards, like he said. Just get an NAFDAQ registration number. Let's be sure this thing is safe. I mean, that's the purpose of NAFDAQ. It needs to be sure that the things that go into our bodies, the things we use on ourselves, our health, Okay, that's what NAFDAQ looks out for. That is their job. So, VDM says, this kind of soap, he has not had this type of soap before. That soap that can wash away your spiritual problems and, you know, deal with your sufferings and all that. That na Does it have a NAFDAQ registration number? Okay, does NAFDAQ approve of this? And if NAFDAQ does, how? Alright? So, VDM was questioning. He needs to be sure that this product, first of all, before we even start talking about the spiritual aspect of it, this product, first of all, is safe for physical use. I mean, I don't see anything wrong with that because you are, as you as a pastor, you are now making things that people will use on their body. I mean, other pastors I know would do miracles. They would use maybe their hankies as mantle, do something spiritual. Since it is spiritual that we're dealing with, it's spiritual the means of settling spiritual problems should not be physical right there's the art of laying on of hands which works okay spiritual but now you are coming down to the physical by making soaps okay now it's now physical no matter how you try to say it's a spiritual soap all right it's still physical we have to use it on our skin and our bodies so it has to be safe now this is this was vdm's plight and pastor fufain said Mm -mm. I'm not having this young man. You're gonna have to shut up. Otherwise, I will shut you up. So he sent a restraining order to VDM and VDM Trust VDM. He just did like this. No, I will see you in court And this is because I said that he should get a NAVDAQ number for his products Do you understand now? He made an advert right for his soap. He said it's miracle soap do you understand? And it will help, it will cure people from suffering. A soap. And I say, ah, and he said the soap get an attack number. Now I say, wait, how NAFTA take approved miracle soap? Do you understand? What are the ingredients in the miracle soap? So NAFTA have to tell me because before you sell any packaged product in Nigeria, especially the one that people digest, people take inside their body, people rub and all that, especially when it concerns the skin and body, you have to register it with NAFTA. So what ingredient was used? And the reason why I asked for the ingredient, it is because it is mandatory that you put the ingredient that you use in producing any product. And why? It is mandatory because some people can be can have um allergy to some things so when reading the the, the ingredient they'll know that okay i'm allergic to this they'll not use it do you understand and also this man has a lot of waters like water like a uh, 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 i must carry my twin water pool of beshada water beshada when you get the pool a lot of different things he have a lot of products do you understand 
a lot of products he has a lot of products so where are the now talk of the product it is simple do you understand it is simple if you are selling anything package get your now that you don't rush now you don't go do cuts this thing and this is the problem with my country nigeria when people are in the position all they want to do is to oppress do you understand what is bad here this is the benefit this is what will benefit us as nigerian do you know why they tell you people to have now that it is to protect us as people see now they get issue of fake drink the other day timaya they complain about fake drinks when i don't see video we have seen countless videos of where they package maltina fake malts where they package fake malts fake coke fake fanta you see the places where they cut those other people that time in which states again where they make fake drinks some people will take that fake drink down they go start to they get internal bleeding some people go they go rush them go hospital do you understand this is where now that come in when you go and register at least at least it is a lesser evil when you go through NAFTA, when they authentic, it is a lesser evil because even the NAFTA themselves, they know even they do their role and obligation well. I was asking somebody the other time, he said NAFTA did not even go and inspect his plate, they just collected two million, maybe three million from him. Do you understand? But at least you still go there and are still a lesser evil. At least they don't check one or two things. Now, that inspection part that they collect their own. I'm not even saying the NAFTAC is 100% sure, certain that the product is good, but at least it's a lesser evil. This is why I say get your NAFTAC, nothing more. You see those girls just stay in the backyard, mix different type of cream. You give person that one now, skin cancer now, you don't be vulnerable to skin cancer, kidney problem and all that. That's why they shout. And I'm the bad person. After you people complain about the politician, Nigeria no good, Nigeria no good. It starts with us as people. Now, this is a man of God for crying out loud. Where say God call him? Where say God call him? You won't carry me go court. Because I tell you, make an after. I've not seen your product before. Yeah, I've not seen your product. But from online that I've seen, I don't look all those pictures online. I don't see NAFTA on top. Automatically, you don't have it. Because the laws of the NAFTA is that you must have it. Oga, you will lose. And you will lose woefully. Don't go and better go and take that thing from that court. Go and take it from that court. Whichever court you can. If you like, I can go the highest court in this world. Highest court in this world. Nothing will happen to bury that man. Do you understand? Nothing. I saw that they do. I saw these big men do. You don't get one or two connection now. Bra! Mind you, if I know popular, if I know popular, I bury that man now. They'll carry me now. Go detain me. And they go run out. The guy will take run out now. They'll go detain me. Now, because if they go detain me, go cast. They no go need. They don't carry cuts. Come, hope you say I go. I go chill back now and no go talk again. Nigerians do not buy that water if it does not have navtac. Do not buy that soap if it does not have navtac. Do not buy that perfume if it does not have navtac. That's number one. Number two, you will still tell me how you made miracle soap. The ingredients that will cure suffering. You will still tell me the ingredient that we call your suffering. That's your soap. You go tell me. You go still tell me. Navtac, you and Navtac where I prove you. Give me small time. You people must tell me how it happened. Else you are going to learn. And you people will learn the hard way. The money will not get down on a business. You not touch me. But this Ninja, so far, say you not feed me. So far, say I not beg you anything. And they do my thing the way I tell you. Small, 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 small. I don't know why I for person money and all that. Now, because of our selfish interest and our greed, now I make this country day like that. You blame the politicians. Politicians are not the problem. You people yourself are the problem. It's a typical oppressor's move. Shut him off with lawsuits. If he talk, we will go jail him. Eh, uh, now him now. From a pastor, and people will still go to this church. So, eh? Uh, when a papa don't sue me, oh, when I know now, when a papa don't sue me, make I no talk again, oh. Even Jesus Christ said they criticize him. Even Jesus. They even beat him. They beat him. They beat him in the hand. They never even beat you. Only talk. They never beat you. Only talk. The Christ, Christianity was gotten from Christ. Christ like. You want to be Christ like and very dark man talk one thing. Don't be saying, curse you or say anything. Very dark man talk one thing. You don't go through lawsuits. Eh? I never even talk, say whether your miracle is fake, which I did not see. I never talk, say you did do RNG miracle, which I did not see. Do you understand? I never talk all those ones. I only say, get Navtac number. I'll see you in court. I'll see you in court. Don't even withdraw it. I'll see you in court. You will learn. And you will learn how the hard way. Don't play. All right, guys. So, isn't it crazy, right? You, you're saying you're for real and you're not a scammer. You're really, truly sent of God. If that were the case, in all sincerity, in all honesty, if that were really the case, you actually have no business answering anybody. That is how I see it. If you're really working in accordance with your God and the things he has instructed you to do, you owe nobody no explanation.
just do your thing then go to take care of the rest but then you come online first of all make a video defending yourself defending the soap defending everything trying to like shut everybody who is raising brows trying to shut them up even your fellow pastor you called him out a good thing that coming that people always attack a good thing a bad thing they never ever attack a bad thing the soap that they are attacking do you know that there is something behind it I can pray for this microphone I'll give it to you then you are a musician anytime you want to go and sing go and use it you will see the difference some pastors they don't fear God carry the microphone they blaspheme another pastor prophet in the altar a stop that normal existing and the price was not there but how can I give a soap Whoa, it don't happen here when devil find out that I am about to bring people out from limitations Nigerian devils stand from nowhere to accuse the brethren he said brethren uh, Jeremiah is selling so for 1.5 million Holy Ghost fire now after you did this you still went on to file a lawsuit or sorry send a restraining order to an activist i'm not even gonna lie to you it's making the whole thing look more and more suspicious because why are you so fidgety why are you so desperate to shut the mouths of people up i mean it's starting to look like he's gonna lose something if he doesn't take action he's gonna be at a loss if he doesn't take action if you're really working with god you shouldn't be afraid of anything that is the truth now that too and you think if you think about it carefully all right because there's no place i'm not even gonna lie there's no place in the scripture that says or there's nothing that kind of like gives that um act that whole this whole idea of soap it's not making sense to a lot of people do you understand now since you've seen that this thing is actually starting to blow out of proportion a bit instead of making matters worse don't you think it's wise for you to like mellow just soft pedal let the whole thing blow over so you can continue whatever it is you're doing in your church with your church members i know of pastors in past that have had like very funny scandals and cases they didn't even come out to say anything they didn't even come out to defend them so before you know what's happening life continued their church is still increasing massively with new numbers every day i don't know if you get what i'm saying so what why don't you just like keep it low face your god and your church but no you'd rather you'd rather come out and try to fight nah it's not making sense as a matter of fact it's making the matter look more and more suspicious now i want to talk about the people who are attending these churches that's the congregation and other christians who actually believe in some certain things do, do we do we still read our bibles do we do we still do that because we if if we're if we want to go bible mode here we want to go christian mode and everything i believe i believe that god is not a supporter of magic magic is you know things that happen quickly like when it comes to quick stuff god is a god of process right take things step by step until we get to where we're going to although yeah there are times where god can like elevate you and give you the super booster and you move forward more than you know break protocol let me put it that way as yes, a protocol breaker we know that okay but then we get to see some things that will make us understand that oh god is involved now soap soap is what brought up this whole issue all right miracle soap miracle water that wash away poverty and bring you prosperity i mentioned in the previous video all right and this congregation people that attend his church they know these things about him already they know that okay our pastor has a certain business all right the fish farming is giving him money the what's it called the even the soap that he's making even the water is all giving him cash it's giving him money but then you're expected to use the soap so that you get rich like guys no think about it think about it i mean is it making any sense now you know for the longest time we nigerians this part of the world we've always aspired to we've always believed that one day just one day we're gonna be like um, you know the western countries our country is going to be really nice we're going to like be developed we're going to like you know how do i get it how do i we're going to rise to the first world country yes I'm, kind of, I'm, I'm sorry I'm going to be blunt but that is very far-fetched yes 
that is actually very far-fetched with the way I'm seen, like with what I'm seeing in our country. We want to be like these people. But they were even the ones, they were even the ones that brought in Christianity into Nigeria. You know the thing is, I think Nigerians will do too much. Nigerians will do way too much. These people that introduced us to Christianity, wherever have you heard them doing things like this? Soap and water to get rich. They work! The average white man has two jobs, three jobs that he's working to make ends meet and gets paid for his time. These countries are doing well, I'll put it that way, without any miracle soap and water. But Nigerians, we've put, we've literally put religion before us in everything that we're doing. And we're not, we're too sentimental. We, we can't see, oh God, like, I don't want to say, I don't want to say that the, the, it's religion that is blinding us, sort of, okay? I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to make it look like maybe Christianity is, because Christianity is not a bad thing, it's actually a gift to humankind, all right? But I believe that it is being abused. And why it is being abused is because we have, we have forgotten that we're supposed to have a personal relationship with God and not follow a man. Yes, you're supposed to have leaders, you're supposed to have mentors, but you don't make them your God. Paul said, follow me as I follow Christ. The moment I stop to follow Christ, leave me. Don't follow me again. What am I trying to say? Your primary focus as a Christian, the person you're supposed to be connected with is God, not your pastor. I mean, it's crazy. Nigerians are too sentimental. The same way we're sentimental and we allow bias to override us when we are voting our leaders into power. That is the same sentiment these people use to follow some pastors. Like you will clearly see that this thing is not working. This thing is not even written somewhere in the Bible but because your pastor said. And these people, some of these people are building on it. Some of these men of God in quotes are building on it. Okay, they build on this ignorance of ours. I don't, is it even ignorance? I think we, some people even know. But I, I just don't know. Now the point is that this will build on these things and they make money out of it. That's the funny thing. They make money out of this whole madness. Now I'm going to say something, alright, because the last time I made um, a, a video like this, I had some people say a lot of funny things in the comment section. They were like, oh, focus on other things. Christianity is not the problem of Nigeria. Or, oh, you self, you're talking about it, you're ashamed to Christianity, blah, 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 blah. Okay, no problem. Now, I'm going to ask you a question, all right? Let me ask you a question. Have you ever seen Muslims or any other belief that is practiced in this country or in the world? Have you ever seen them come out to make a joke of their belief? Like expose themselves to social media in a way that, let's say, two imams clashing online? Or have you... No, I'm trying to like... I'm trying to make you guys see something, all right? It's always pastors against pastors. Christians against Christians and I realized that it's not just even at that level down to the members down to the of The whole idea of church itself. What am I saying? Even our denominations fight against each other I was on a bus sometime and somebody came in to preach All right, and her point her message the core of her message was that as a Catholic that you should come Yes, come to church but come for your service so that you will know what to use against other Christians that don't know what they're saying that was the way she put that message. So that when all these people from Pentecostal churches and other denominations want to come and um, um, teach you something that is false, you will know or you will know how to counter them, you will know the word of God. That was, that was the basis of her message, that was the core of her message. And I was just so disappointed where I was. How can you be saying people should come to your church to learn how to fight other denominations of Christianity? So it's starting from the bottom. Denominations are not even at peace with each other. And when, even, even when you come to Pente let's come to Pentecostal churches now, alright? We have different churches like RCCG, we have Love World, we have have, do you know that some churches feel like they are better like some Pentecostal churches feel like they are better than other Pentecostal churches and then they feel like maybe their own church are the ones that are gonna make heaven and can you see where the problem is coming from you will never see Muslims do this you won't we're not even united ourselves and now you look at me coming out to voice out and say these things about because the truth is the essence the true essence of Christianity has been watered down in this part of the world whether you like it or not it has been watered down and the funny thing is that some people are now starting to take advantage of it like in the monetary aspect because most young men these days if they try any other thing it's not working they feel like oh you know what Let, let's go into church business it also brings money 
they for they, they a lot of people have forgotten about what we call mentorship nobody wants to be a mentee anymore they just want to jump in rent um, a building or rent a space and name it whatever they want to name it and people start flocking in and giving offering and tithes you're good to go all you need to do is take the Bible and say what the people want to hear preach the prosperity message there you have it because the concept of Christianity has has involved showbiz a lot we have pastors proving, I'm not saying it's bad to live large, okay? But you will hear pastors come online when they are preaching, they cannot preach a complete message of God without them. They will tell you that it's testimony, yes. It's testimony that you're giving, but in every, in every message of yours, you're giving the same testimony of how many private jets you have. The same testimony of how many, I don't even know, like cars or whatever it is you own, your, you know, wealth and property, everything you own how you're no longer walking with leg, you're now flying. We get it, it's a testimony. But the more they do these things, it, some, some, some people get the wrong idea because you're not even preaching the main gospel anymore. And you think I am shaming Christianity because you think keeping mute is the best way. How is anybody even going to open their eyes and nobody speaks? Now that's the funny question. Why don't you talk about that? If you feel you know the truth and you keep quiet, I thought your Bible told you to say the truth and it to set you free. I mean, you guys think about these things. Somebody has to talk. Whether you like it or not, somebody has to say it. You're not doing heaven and God a favor by keeping me because you don't want to shame Christianity. As a matter of fact, if you don't talk, nonsense will thrive. If you do not speak, rubbish is going to thrive. And people will keep on making a mockery of Christianity. I won't stand for it. I don't know about you because I'm a Christian. I feel it's high time we start opening our eyes to some certain things. I mean, look at this whole, look at this whole thing that's going on. Making a ridicule of the belief called Christianity. And you think it's okay to not talk? So guys, now you've seen this whole thing about Pastor Fafane filing a lawsuit against VDM. What do you think? Like, is that the best move of his at this particular time? Giving the con like given the situation like what is going on what actually led to vdm talking do you think it was wise for him why would he even file a lawsuit isn't it sus to you hmm? tell me fam what do you think i'd like to know your thoughts in the comment section exactly and if you have enjoyed this video if you liked this video how about you click the like button give me a mighty thumbs up and do not forget to click the subscribe button and of course share to your friends so guys, tell me what you think in the comment section. And until I come here next time with another interesting topic for you, this has been your favorite girl, Jessie Rogers, here on The Kiwi Show. For now, bye-bye.